no police in sight, particularly when it's the not so legal gangs. These gangs go around and the police literally ignore them. But if it's a... Okay, so this is what I'm going to say. <clears throat> I don't know this person on this channel. Um, he talked about tripping on our... He was riding an electric scooter. And he fell and knocked his noggin. Okay. I think more of God was trying to hit him across the head with it. Um, to wake him up a little bit. He may believe Jesus is coming. There's some kind of cross in the back. I've heard him maybe twice. But right now, there's a lot of people that are claiming Jesus. And um, spewing fear and hate. Okay. Yes, fear that the Lord Jesus is coming. And if you're not in him, fear the um, tribulation, fear the next seven years that are coming. Okay. We had seven years of plenty with all that, that um, gave out. Okay. Seven. We had all these years of plenty. Okay. Almost before that and things like that, things happened. Okay. But the seven years lean, that's like tribulation. Okay, don't be here. Know Jesus. Know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. But I'll tell you what, we don't need to turn against each other. Granted, the world's getting darker. I know that's going to happen. Read the Bible. But Christians, the ones that are the body of Christ, don't turn against each other. Show the light. Show love. You love the people. You hate the sin. How are you supposed to battle? Full on our God. Battle on your knees. Tell them it's wrong. Tell them the gospel of peace. That's that's what the Bible says, right? Ephesians, the, the full armor with the shoes of the gospel of peace. Okay, because love covers a multitude of sins and it breaks bondage and it changes a person and it makes them not want to do what they're doing anymore and come to the Lord. The greatest of the two commandments, love your God with all your heart, mind, body. So I know, I know I always add in there, okay, with all your strength and love your neighbor as yourself, like love the way you want to be treated, treat others. Because especially when in the wicked time, especially with the darkness coming and it's, and it's here and everything that's happening, we need it. We need it to break and have a light and be good in, in this time. People need to know who to come to for truth. And if we don't stand up and we don't shine, especially in this hard time, if we're not shining, then how can we be the lighthouse to run to for safety? How can we show them how to, how to be safe in Lord Jesus Christ? It says that at that time, like men's hearts will fail, right? Men's hearts will fail. Well, look, the stock market, right? Okay. What happened in the Great Depression? Like we know all this. We know what's coming. If, you, if you've been listening to all of us and the watchmen and everyone out here trying to tell you it's coming, <clears throat> the Lord is telling you. So you know to come to him, he's shaking it up and he wants to keep you safe and he wants, he wants to take care of you. And because he gave his son, Jesus, to die on the cross for you and rise again so that you can have eternal life. He wants to take care of you. He wants, he wants you and his family. He wants to protect you from this. Yeah, we may get hit with it, but he's our hope. He's our hope and he's our salvation. Praise God. And there's no fear in Jesus. There's no fear. Because I know that, I know that Abba Father, God is a good Father. And that he'll, his will, his will is always best. And he will take care of us. And he's, right now he's taking care of us by telling people like me and a lot of others out here what's been happening we've been saying it for the last two and a half years or two you know trying to get it out so that people would see but men's hearts will fail just like the great depression what did they do a whole bunch of you know like giving ups and 
hearts failing and because you put your trust in money and the world and man, man and the next man that's going to make it great and um, the job you've striven for, you know, and you and and well, you got this degree and you're supposed to be this and be that. No, be what God wants you to be. Trust God. Trust God. Trust God. Stop, stop saying peace and safety when there is no peace. And the only peace and safety that you have is Jesus Christ. Stop saying peace and safety. God says it in the Bible when it's time to stop, stop with the false prophets and people using their mouth to deceive people around them. Peace and safety. It's good. It's all going to come back. You're wonderful. It'll be fine. They'll balance it here and there and get it all straight. <clears throat> when God's doing this to shake so that men finally fall on their knees and their face in front of him and realize that he is God Almighty and that he loves and that he sent his son as the biggest love gift. <clears throat> The, old, the whole world could ever have to a world that's rejecting him and did reject him and is rejecting him. Stop. It, in the Bible, it says, I'll find the verse, okay? Stop saying peace and safety and being a false prophet like that. Stop. When It says, when there is no peace, stop telling my people when there is no peace. <clears throat> that's not fear. That's letting them know what's coming. That's preparing. And the biggest way to prepare is to know Christ Jesus as your Savior. He is your safety. He is your safety.